witches. Hi, hello. <laughs> you all right as soon there? as I hit the record button, like a burp just sat there. <laughs> it was coming. Oh my okay. goodness. So it has been a week for me anyway. As I mean, as you guys can tell, because we didn't release an episode yesterday. Um, nah, we late. It's it's okay though. <laughs> um, Listen, the beginning of a whole new year under Mercury retrograde and a full moon. Bad news bears. Yeah. Well, yeah, and it was like back to school, and I literally the night before we went back to school, I had a panic attack, and then the morning of, I had one in the shower and almost made myself sick, and then one on my drive to work. It was just not good. I didn't want to go back. I didn't have a good energy. I didn't have a good mindset about anything. Um, Thankfully, I have really great admin. So we have talked about some of the things that are stressing me out and um, have some new plans in place. But it wasn't a good week. So by the time I got home from school, I was not in any kind of way mindset to, prep to do anything yeah but it's fine because we have a simple easy episode. episode yeah and let's talk about that a little bit <laughs> yeah so i see on facebook all the time and all of these witchcraft things about people doing like essentially a year at a glance but with tarot so they pick their own cards for each month and then that supposedly is what's going to be their month. And I was like, that's awesome. Let's do it. Yeah. So we're going to do that. But disclaimer, we are baby witches. <laughs> we have talked about this many mm-hmm. times. Um, so we're both looking up the meanings of our cards as we go. So yeah. I'm so if it takes us a witch, second. Yeah. I'm using the Modern Witch Tarot deck. And if it sounds like we're reading out of a book, hi, 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 hello, we are. (laughs) Um, For sure. (laughs) I'm using the Modern Witch Tarot deck and using the Modern Witchcraft Book of Tarot to interpret. Yo, Will's got a book on tarot. Maybe I should find it real quick. Uh, But my tarot deck is... Honestly, I think it's made after the <coughs> Rider Waite um, tarot deck, but it's just Lamucci Design. Yeah, LamucciDesign.com. I got them. I didn't get them online. You can get it online, but I got it at, I think, TJ Maxx for like half the price, which is great. Uh, but yeah, I got that. So Nice. And it comes with, like, um, if you go onto their website and you print, not print, but if you, like, go to resources and um, you go to, like, the tarot deck, it even, like, gives out calendars and all that for free. Uh, You can actually download a free tarot guidebook for your tarot deck. So that's what I did. I like it. So I know originally when we talked about this idea, we talked about me doing your reading and you doing mine. Yeah. But with the year at a glance thing, it kind of seems like it's a self read. So we're just discussing it. Yeah. I, yeah, I agree. Okay. So I want to make sure we were on the same page. I'm super all about like touching my cards Mm-hmm. to get my energy on it. Cause I literally making it into a big pile. I took each individual card out. And, like, made it a huge, like, random spread. So I touched every single one of these things. So I'm like, it's not going to be great if I do hers because I touched it all. Yeah. Yeah. I know that's, like, not always the case for some people, but I prefer that way. Yeah, it's all about you and your practice. So I, um, yeah, I let other people touch my cards, but I feel like I have more of a energy relationship with my cards and I have cards jump all the time do you have cards jump when you're shuffling uh yeah but I also have cards that are thick and big and my hands are tiny 
my cards are big as well, so that might be part of the problem. But they jump a lot, and I usually yeah. just take that into account. So. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I got a nice huge. So you can do it any way you want. Like personally, for me, I touch every single card, and I just make a huge oh, pile okay. that I'm going to pick. <laughs> cool. Sorry, I'm so, laying yeah. out my cards now. Oh, yeah. No. I haven't touched it. Okay. I'm just grabbing it from, like, my big pool, and then I'm going to set it to the side. Just that way I can continue it. The fuck is that? Oh. <laughs> I'm also writing this out because I want to go back and look at it. Okay. Oh. So there's that one. Cool. <laughs> I'm just looking at the cards and taking them at face value. I don't know the meanings of all of the cards yet. But yeah. some of these, I'm just like, oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I got essentially two of the same card. I have a lot of Major Arcana cards. Good for you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so do we want to do this? Um, sorry, guys, we didn't talk much beforehand so we don't have this entirely planned out but do we, do we ever like, though one of us talk about january the other one talk about january or do you want yeah. one of us to go all the way through i was what i was thinking too okay so my january is the two of wands so let me find that in my book here And it's um, reversed, too. So, <laughs> when the Two of Wands is reversed, it can indicate a delay or difficulty. Maybe, if, this is for January, by the way. Did I ever say that? Yeah. Maybe if you're surprised, it requires you to make changes. Um, perhaps someone you relied on or believed in disappoints you. Um. It's, a lot of it is about taking control of a situation and using caution with communication and um, relationships, which actually makes a lot of sense with Mercury in retrograde right now and the wolf moon being mm -hmm. last night or two nights ago. Um, so, yeah, um, so far that's making a lot of sense with my um, January that was rough so far. And I just need yeah. to proceed with caution. <laughs> okay so my um january is the <clears throat> four of pentagrams pentacles pentacles pentagram sorry <laughs> i'm like i see the pentagram and i'm just thinking that um i have to get to it hold on because of course it's you know always Oh, here we go. Okay, so four of pentacles. Um, the surety of possessions, cleaving to that which one has, gifts, legacy, or inheritance. It was not reversed. It was face up. So maybe I'm getting things. Uh, cleaving to which one has, gifts, legacy, inheritance. Well, I mean, okay. Could be about work. Ooh. It could be, yeah. Uh, legacy. Could be about legacy. Or legacy at work. Because uh -huh. there are some changes that are happening. Starting tomorrow, honestly. Um, like interviews for like higher positions. And I've kind of have like a driven plan that I want to do. Um, so yeah, maybe it's like. You know, yeah. changes up there. Anyways. Okay. My February is the Five of Swords. It is reversed. But the book says the five suggests pretty much the same thing as it does upright. Um, signifies change, a time of adjustment after a conflict of some kind. Um, so, symbolizes devastation of war and recommends using diplomacy to resolve problems. Fighting isn't the best way to settle disputes. Um, a 
avoid arguments and don't make enemies at work. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. Um, it does say when the card appears reversed in a reading, you may feel a great sense of remorse, regret, or unhappiness. Sometimes it shows you making repairs or reparations after a conflict, trying to set hmm. things right again. Hmm. Now, question is, do you feel like you are kind of starting on that path, you know, at like work maybe? Yeah, I feel like if anything, it would be to do with work. Maybe um, I have a, a specific family relationship that is not, it's kind of fraught. Um, mm -hmm. And like that could be possibly coming to a head. Um, but basically my first two cards are telling me to be cautious and communicate clearly and um, this, this specifically says hurtful words can't be taken back. So, um, I need to proceed with <laughs> careful what you say caution and communications and everything moving forward these first two months of the year. Well, I got another pentacles. Um, so this one I got was, um, the seven of pentacles. So, and it wasn't reversed. It was right side up. So it's a card of money, business, or barter. So February is all going to be about business of some sort, whether that be, I know, whether that be with my own personal life or with the podcast or even something else, um, like in my life, who knows, but, um, what else? Oh, but it also means altercation, quarrel, or uh, another innocence, pur purgation kind of thing. So with, um, what is it, with uh, work coming up there, I know there's some people who are going after a possible promotion. And I know that if I were to get the promotion, there would be some butt hurtness. So I'm hoping that's not what that means. If I were to get this promotion, I would hope that it would be like smooth. Everybody would be like, yeah, congrats. You deserve it. Not like I'm happy for you. Yeah. Yeah. And not being an asshole about it. Right. So there's that. Okay. <laughs> So my next card for March is the sun and it actually kind of has made me think about the last two cards a little bit. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking maybe the battle is with myself. Uh, you know, honestly, maybe I, I do fight against myself a lot and I tend to think that I'm not good enough or, I mean, I just said it to you the other day about the podcast that I'm failing at everything in my life right now and not be productive. Um, and I know I said it to Brittany this weekend as well. Um, yeah, and I was so like, I, girl, I don't give a shit. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I'm battling against myself a little bit right now. So the sun, it brightens, it's upright. It brightens mm -hmm. any negative cards in a reading, no matter where it appears in the spread. Its influence is always beneficial. A new day is dawning. You're glad to be alive. Whatever your question, the answer is positive. For creative people, the sun can indicate a time of increased inspiration and productivity Whatever you undertake at this time is likely to prosper for the sun is shining on you. This is a good time to start new projects and expand your horizons. It's your day in the sun. Um, it's all about life, happiness, pleasure, which kind of makes sense because right around March is when I start to come out of my seasonal affective disorder. Oh, yeah, so, there you go. Um, it, it all kind of ties in well together. I, I'm thinking... January and February, I'm having some battles with myself, which will probably affect my other relationships, including at work. But then come around March, things are going to start to get better. Also, look at this cute little, like, I love the pastel colors of these cards. Oh, that's cute. So, like, the OG tarot deck? Or is that? This is the modern witch one. Oh, okay. I knew you were but, using that, but it looks like the, like, OG, like, Rider Waite. It does. The so my book has the pictures of the Rider Waite tarot cards in it. Oh, okay. So you can um, like match it. Yeah. 
And so far, most of my cards have been really similar, just pastel and very feminine. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, okay, so March. <clears throat> March, I got the Page of Cups. There is, I just got, I just got done picking all of my cards. And let me tell you, there is like the same in everything. <laughs> it's like everything's the same. Uh, so the Page of Cups, it was not reversed. So uh, the Page of Cups is apparently... A studious youth, a positive news, message, application, or reflection, or meditation. And then they're all directed towards business. Oh. So okay. maybe um, reflecting on some past business things or maybe reflecting on what I've done that could better myself in the future. Or even reflecting on my time on the podcast. I don't know. Something. Yeah. Yeah. So there's that. Cool. Um, so my, this is April. Um, I've got the four of wands. It is upright. Um. This is a very happy, positive card. It's all about happiness, success, and comfort. Actually, the book in this book, the author says she calls this card the comfort card. You've mm -hmm. shown the world who you are and what you can achieve, and you've gained the recognition and the rewards you deserve. Um, this is also considered the harvest card. Um, apparently, a lot of witches use it and associate it with the Midsummer Sabbath. So, oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's good to know. But again, just to show you, Emily, I know other people can't really see what we're talking about. It's very similar to the um, Rider Waite deck. Oh, yeah. It's just like that's a why I was like, version. Yeah, I was like, wait, why? why? Oh, I yeah. see it now. I see the background. Okay. Yeah. The other one, you couldn't really tell, like, the modern version of it. You could just see yeah. it. So, But now that one, I, I see the skyscrapers. Yeah. And all of the um, people are feminine. Yeah. Um, okay. So I have for April the Seven of Swords. So this one is talking about design, attempts, wishing, hope, or confidence. Uh, also quarreling. Um, it could also mean that a plan that may fail. And it'll bring annoyance. <laughs> well, my significant other was born in March. Will he <laughs> be my annoyance? Who knows? <laughs> Damn it, Will. <laughs> uh, oh I don't know, though. But, like, it would be kind of cool because it's after, like, a trip that I, I'm going back to Indy. Anna, not Indy. Indiana in February. And then... It'll be, like, right after that. So maybe something will happen while I'm there. Uh, I don't know. Maybe something at work will happen because it's talking about, like, attempts and wishes. Yeah. Maybe all of our hard work will pay off, Brandy. I like it. <laughs> I like it. Oh, my gosh. Um, okay. This is May. Um, April. March, April. No, I'm on May now, right? Yeah, you're on May because we just did okay. April. Okay. Okay. Um, the Ace of Cups is all about new beginnings. Um, love. Beginnings in love, which is interesting. But mine is reversed, which can indicate a delay in starting a relationship. Or something that seemed promising doesn't develop or turn out. Um, may not be the right time to start something new. Um, and it can also represent a dry spell of feeling stifled or uninspired in creative pursuits. 
Hmm. It's also my birth month, so that's kind of shitty. <laughs> yeah, that's weird. <laughs> it's the end of the school year, also though, which I'm gonna. I I tend to be very burnt out at the end of the school year, so it makes sense that um, it's more of an ending time for me than it is a new beginning. Yeah. Who? Okay. Uh, so for May, I got the Five of Cups reversed which Ooh. I also switched my PDF because I feel like the one I was using was just like a guide mm-hmm. for what could happen. I think it's more for people who know their deck. And since I am still currently working on that, I switched it up. I went to tarot.com. Um, the five of cups reversed represents a paradoxal situation god damn <laughs> the a paradoxical situation is i said that correctly wherein what seems like the worst thing that could happen actually creates a better circumstance oh lord please don't let me get fired <laughs> any incoherent fear once expressed and faced can be transformed into a manageable issue Then you are liberated from the dread of negative anticipation, wondering if the situation will blow up in your face. You are freer to act authentically as a result of this energy turn. Hmm. The fuck? (laughs) Well. See, now that I read that, because it says, like, the incoherent fear. (laughs) Uh, And the dreaded negative anticipation, like anxiety. It's mm-hmm. like, bro, That's am I going to get fired? Like. <laughs> no. Honestly, I, here's the thing. Yeah, so, and whatever, take this with a grain of salt. So with this possible changing of power at work, uh, I honestly have sat here and everyone's like, why don't you just apply for it? You never know. You might get it. If you don't get it, then whatever, you don't get it you at least have the, you know, experience. And I was like, yeah, I think I'm going to interview just in case. Cause I would like that experience. Somebody made a comment to me the other day, somebody who could possibly choose the hiring, you know, part. and was like, well, you know, somebody who I would honestly consider doing this position is afraid of jumping steps ahead. They want to mm-hmm. take steps up appropriately instead of just leaping forward and i was like like huh who are you talking about <laughs> who <laughs> and he's like seriously and i was like uh me and he goes yeah you and i was like oh so you you literally just said that i would probably be great in this position you would I, i'm not saying you i'm your first pick but that's what you're implying, right? Like, he goes, <laughs> yeah, kind of. Like, you're well qualified for it. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> so maybe my fear of taking on this major increase in my role in life and my job is what it's talking about. I don't know why it would be, you know, in May, but maybe I'll like feel more comfortable by May and like all of this fierce like leading up to May is just going to be blown over. Yeah. I don't know. Anyways. Okay. June. June. <laughs> um, this is why I was like, oh, great. Um, <laughs> it's death. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Hold on. That's not always a bad one, though. It's not. It, it says that the first word or the first sentence on the in the book is it tends to frighten people when it comes up, but it symbolizes transformation. Yeah, that's what I think it is. So transformation, metamorphosis, um, rebirth. It can also sacrifice or mean sacrifice loss in, in an ending, but those aren't always bad things. Um. Yeah, that could be so, pretty much anything. Also, the number of the death card is 13, which happens to be my lucky number. Um, up, It is upright, which signifies the end or death of a cycle. Um, 
trying desperately to hold on to what's clearly over causes trouble. Jobs end, relationships end, children grow up and move away. Change can't be avoided. The ultimate message is the promise that new life follows disintegration. But you're experiencing a metamorphosis. Think caterpillar to butterfly. So, we're going to have some changes in June, which kind of makes sense because I don't know what, um, like, I always get a summer job as a teacher, and I don't know what I'm going to do this year yet. I have a plan in mind, but um, I don't know for sure what's going to happen yet, so... It could be that. And you know what? Honestly, maybe your summer job would actually be more, I don't want to say better, but maybe going to be a little bit more fulfilling than yeah. what you're getting fulfilled at school. So yeah. maybe that metamorphosis would be yeah. difference of jobs, new, okay. new beginnings. Well, you know, guess. side note. My, one of my acting coaches used to, he brought his tarot deck in and obviously he would give us like pre-scripted scenes or whatever to work on, but he would give us a card. Like we would choose from his deck of tarot and we'd like pull the card and we would look at it, interpret it. Like we wouldn't know the meaning behind it or whatever, but we would interpret the like look of the card and then we would portray our feelings of that card throughout the scene so you could have like someone who's like like death like i got the death card once and i made it like a renewal kind of thing instead of like negative like dying and so i had a very happy outlook on the scene which was weird because my counterpartner had the tower which meant chaos <laughs> so she was very chaotic. I was very soothing and like uplifting, like a therapist. And it was hilarious to watch because it was like the perfect scene. <laughs> nice. So if anyone That's out really there, cool right? So if anyone out there takes acting lessons or whatever and they don't do this, tell them, get a tarot deck and do this. It's great. That's fun. I like it. Because you don't have to know the meanings of it. Like the pictures look different. So it's like. Like the nine of cups looks like a glutton with all his alcohol. Right. Which, it doesn't have to be like the actual interpretation. It could be a very literal. Right. Which is my nine or my June card. Nine of cups. <laughs> <laughs> um, ooh, excuse me. So I have it upright. And the nine of cups is sometimes titled happiness, but it is also known as victory. The image on several versions of this card often shows an innkeeper doing a brisk business and feeling very happy about it. The rewards of high achievement are not all monetary, however. This happiness also refers to the feelings of fulfillment that come from good service to the community and support of one's families, family, as well as gratitude for all the blessings in one's life. Ooh. Am I going to be pregnant? <gasps> Because it's not monetary and we want a kid. We're like trying to take supplements to help with like fertility. <gasps> Babe. Babe. <laughs> <laughs> June's our year month. Wait. Yeah. June's our month. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I love it though. Yes. Man, All right. I anyways. <laughs> okay. Okay. July. The hanged one. Oh, reverse. <laughs> <Reversed. Now> <laughs> so this card is all about letting go, surrender, seeing things from a different perspective. Um, you're ready to make sacrifices in order to be true to yourself. Something may have turned your world upside down. But you have an opportunity to see things from a different perspective. Reversed. You're at a crossroads, but can't make a decision. You're just swinging in the breeze. Um, to move forward, you must spend time in spiritual development. May not be willing to do that. Perhaps you're not paying attention to your real needs and this is causing frustration. Um, so. Um, I think what's going on here. I think I know. <laughs> it, it seems like maybe something to do with work. Um, but that's, that's the big thing in my life right now that's causing me contention and stress. Um, and whether well, it's... And it's right after June, which is like... 
an ending and yeah yeah so maybe you're like should i return should i not yeah feeling a lack of direction or motivation um yeah so i'm gonna have some stuff to think about this summer is what i'm hearing well and you know what it's like you're it's it's probably going to be a lot of um reflection on your previous year so it's it's not like you've never had this position oh, yeah. before you've obviously had this before but it's at your dream school but it's still different so it's the same but different so you're like reflecting on your experience that you had at a previous school and now you, and then after the previous year so i think that's going to be like yeah maybe you ref maybe not necessarily like new job reflection but maybe like the death of your like previous year like you have a better plan for what's going to happen kind of thing yeah and so like the, yes 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 whew, that'd be fun okay all right ten of cups is my july forecast uh and it better be good. I haven't read it yet, but it better be good because I'm going on a vacation to Tennessee with a bunch of my like friends from Indiana and significant others. So this better be fucking good. <laughs> <laughs> it's upright. Uh, this 10. Oh yeah. There you go. The 10 of this suit traditionally signifies family and community often showing a celebratory scene, including many generations crowned by a rainbow signifying the end of hard times. Love and support extending in all directions and a huge emotional safety net for everybody. There you go. See? Well, and it's like three of us have graduated graduate school. Will you graduated. Have some excited news to share. Yeah, and last month. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so yeah, there's just a lot going on. Ooh. That would be so like fun. Yeah, hey, that, <laughs> that that's a lot better than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> oh my gosh! So yes, bye. What is this, August? Yeah. Yes. August, the Six of Wands reversed. <laughs> um, six of Wands is the victory card. Ch you face challenges, won the fight, and deserve the accolades you receive. When reversed, though, it can mean you still have work to do before you can enjoy the success and happiness you seek. You may feel frustrated, but continue fighting for what you want. You should win. Um also possibly need to reassess my goals at the time. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. But that's about the time. Calling you I'm, out. I'm going to be preparing for back to school and I'm going to be um, like working through some things and getting ready and trying to prepare for the absolute chaos that is back to school. So. That'd be yeah. so fun. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, okay. Let's, what, August. Uh, <clears throat> I had the King of Wands reversed. Reverse, reverse. <laughs> Uh, so this one is the wise use of power is to respectfully reorganize. Oh, oh, hold on. I can't read. <laughs> the wise use of power is to respectfully recognize the authority of others. When the king of wands is reversed, there is danger in mistaking empowerment for domination. Hence a potential for undermining the autonomy of others. Exercise what you think is the best, most positive use of power. Be on guard against any old tendencies to grab the controls and take over. <laughs> Don't be such a, a control freak, you Aquarius. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's really, it's so funny. I I hate driving. And I, every time we have to drive anywhere, like Will and I fight over who's going to drive. And then when he drives, then I sit there and then I just get annoyed because it's like, I am a faster driver than he is, or maybe it just feels like he's, we're going so slow, but we're like going, like we're driving the same. 
but I just feel like, and he's super defensive when he's driving and I'm not aggressive, but I'm also not defensive. Like I'm like this weird in between, but I get so annoyed. Cause I'm just like, God, you're not driving fast enough. God, my stomach is hurting. Like why? Like this nausea is setting in. Like, why are you stopping on the brakes all of a sudden? Like we're like yards away from our turn. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> And then I just get so aggravated and I'm just like, I can't do this. And then at work when I'm training somebody, if I watch them do it, I, I like will sit there and fiddle. I'm like, I enjoy not having to do anything right now, but God damn it. I like, I need to do it myself. <laughs> yes. And Will's like, you need to breathe and just let me deal with it. Like last night I wanted to take down the Christmas tree, but our neighbor's like water thing is leaking and it leaked into our apartment. So we were waiting on like maintenance to come in to like make sure like there's no fucking issues in our kitchen. And I'm sitting there and he's just scrolling on TikTok, like at ease, not doing anything. And I'm like taking down all the Christmas decorations. And he's like, I thought we were doing that after we got ice cream. And I was like, yeah, but we're waiting. And he goes, and I'm waiting, doing something else. And I was like, but I need to do this. Like it, I just like, yeah. Just controlling is such a problem for me. And he yells at me all the time. He's like, you need to, like, just let it go. Like, just chill. Go, Honestly, go. though, he'll start singing that, and I just get really pissed off. I just turn to look at him and, like, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Taro, I hear you. <laughs> I can't help it. I was born under the Aquarius sign. Oh, my God. I'm honestly... Okay, I'm honestly Aquarius, Gemini, Aquarius, so I have just fucked up. <laughs> I'm just really stubborn. Really <laughs> fucking stubborn. On God. all fronts, really fucking stubborn. <laughs> mm. Are you a Taurus? Yes, I am. I knew it. <laughs> I was like, I know <laughs> she's got to be a Taurus. <laughs> yes, Casey's a Taurus, so let me tell you, that bitch is stubborn too. <laughs> I'm like, you're a fucking mule. That's what you are, you donkey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay. Oh, man. September. Three of wands. Creativity, self-expression, growth, manifestation. Mine is reversed, um, which means I still have some work to do before I go public with my ideas. Perhaps you could benefit from honing, honing your skills. Some areas of undertaking still need clarification, or you may need to win the support and blessing of others in order to advance. Hmm. 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 Well, I hope those ideas are, I don't know, I guess, I mean, I think they'll be good, but. Of course they will. They're coming for me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you Ravenclaw. <laughs> Taurus combined, honestly. God damn. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you know when you got the death card and you're like, yeah, the like first word literally says like it's it doesn't always mean like this. When I got sorted into Slytherin, the first words on like the um learn about your house thing it was not all Slytherins are bad <laughs> but most of them they have a tendency to be bad like <laughs> maybe it's just their upbringing I don't know but goddamn it's just a calling for fucked up <laughs> deals oh, anyways <clears throat> September I have the Emperor. And it was upright. So in the most practical terms, the Emperor Tarot card represents the highest leadership, a head of state, or the most exemplary <laughs> and powerful person in the realm. Duh. Look at me. I'm a fucking <laughs> queen. Finally, September is my month. <laughs> the archetypal 
ruler is responsible for the affairs of a society or community, which are directly proportional to his well-being and happiness. Grass is greener on the, always on the other side. Uh, the more enlightenment and cosmic perspective this energy brings, the better life is for all. The emperor arch... Is it archetype or archetype? Mm -hmm. Archetype. Because okay. I feel like archetypal, tipple, like just nothing, nothing sounds correct. Yeah. The emperor archetype, archetype <laughs> masters the world of matter and physical manifestation. When you apply this card to your situation, acknowledge your potentials for mastery, reinforce a sense of sovereignty. God damn it. Within yourself, despite any self-limiting beliefs, habits, and appearances to the contrary. So. So believe in yourself. <laughs> yeah. Remember that you're a badass bitch. <laughs> I'm a fucking empress. <laughs> <laughs> September's my year. Month. <laughs> and you know, <laughs> month. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> it's Sunday after a long week. Leave it alone. <laughs> Ugh. Anyways. Woo! That's October. my September. October. Okay. I have the hermit. Upright. Um, guidance, solitude, inner wisdom is self-evaluation. Um, sometimes functions as a teacher. Sage, myth, or legend radiates wisdom. Um, can mean a guide figure is at hand offering help. Advises you to meet this guide or begin your own search for truth. Sometimes the guide is a person such as a counselor or therapist but it usually refers to inner guidance or getting in touch with a spirit guide um hermit can recommend withdrawing from the busyness and distractions of the outer world to do some soul searching um all about being honest with yourself as you gain perspective when this card is upright you may be looking for guidance from the invisible world you want to gain perspective on your life and you're open to the inner guidance that's available to you. The time has come to reunite with the source, whether for guidance or to discover the truth and establish inner balance. Hmm. Coming to your higher self. I like it. Also, look at this card. Like, <laughs> she just looks so cool. She looks like, like Storm. Right? From the X-Men. Uh... <clears throat> Okay, so my October is two of pentacles. Let me tell you, I have a lot of pentacles. Uh, but a lot of people call it two of coins, too, because pentacles are supposed to be like coins. Um, so this suit is a symbol for, magical, for a magical talisman that represented wealth or potential. The suit represents something supportive that is available to you, whether it be health, some kind of talent, or a material or financial resource. The two in the suit generally features a youth juggling with two coins juggled in eight figure eight fashion, or just the coins without the youth. One heads up, the other's tails both flipping in the air. It is clear that until one or the other coin drops, the final call cannot be made. There is more to learn before a decision can be made about appropriate action. This card counsels patience, so do not allow yourself to be rushed. The figure eight symbol is a symbol of immortality and eternity. Oh my God, I'm living forever. <laughs> its, mess <laughs> its message is no need to hurry. You have all the time you need to work this out. No matter how things appear right now, implied within this scenario is the idea that changes are in the works, but you will do better to stay calm until you have more information. Everything is in flux at a time like this. So it's Mercury retrograde. Um, November, I have the five of wands, which is kind of a yucky card. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's all about competition, ego battles, disagreements, confusion. It is upright, um, which means bickering and self-interest can cause irritation. Um, but I need to concern myself with getting matters back on track. Um, Discontent may arise from differences in philosophy or personality. When this card shows up, you may be defending your territory, putting up a fight to hold on to what you think is yours. 
try to assess the situation objectively, um, like a mock battle or a conflict of egos that lacks genuine substance. So keeping my priorities straight is my goal for November is what I'm hearing here. There you go. Okay, I do something. Okay. So <clears throat> by November is the King of Cups reversed. <laughs> okay. The King of Cups reversed is bitterly holding a grudge or some hatred, withholding his natural propensity for forgiveness and blessing. This reversal creates an emotional vacuum around him and deprives him of serenity. Huh. His powers of empathy and compassion are wasted in favor of rehashing the past and feeling sorry for himself. Dispel the storm clouds, admit the hurt, forgive and embrace, and let the sunshine of peace and benevolence back into the picture. So that's when I need to do my soul searching, apparently. God damn. So, yeah. Okay. December. <laughs> oh, December. I've got the devil. You devil, you. Krampus <laughs> is coming. <laughs> um, all about obsession, indulgence, fear, materialism, and egotism. Um... When the devil shows up in a reading, it's upright. When the devil shows up in a reading, he recommends reevaluating your relationship to people and material things that keep you chained. It's time to let go of old fears, hangups, inhibitions, and ways you manipulate others to satisfy your needs. The devil tells you to figure out what's true and what's false, at least for you. Um, and the devil may indicate that you're chained to your job and neglecting other areas of life. Perhaps you're a workaholic or crave the status your position gives you. This card warns against engaging in questionable practices to get ahead. That sounds more slither to me. You Ravenclaw. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. My December is a pinnacle card yet again. <laughs> Mine this time is the Eight of Coins and it is upright. So the Eight of the Suit is the card of works. We see here the successful artisan spending time at his bench, hammering out the commissions he has attracted because of his skill. This artist is the best in his or her class so popular that it's become difficult to keep up with demand. She's paid whatever she asks and accepts only the most worthy assignments. If there is a problem in this card, it has to do with the trap of workaholism. The feeling of being so indispensable that you will not ask for help or delegate anything. Oh. <laughs> There is also the issue of becoming so identified as the creator of elegant works that the personal identity of the creator becomes consumed by the works themselves. This artisan seldom gets to have a home life, time off, much time for friends. The solution lies in balancing creative energy with a personal life. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, it is December. Like, yeah, December is crazy times in both of our jobs. Yeah. You in retail and me and the end of a school semester. Yeah. And I feel like December is also that like time, not that it's like the darkest, but it is pretty much the darkest month of the entire year. Mm -hmm. And it's a time to be holly jolly. And sometimes I just don't feel holly jolly around Christmas. Yeah. I feel like that's when my depression hits the most. And I think because my depression barely hit during December, it like hit this past week. Yeah, I am. T I generally am manic during December, at least towards the end of December the, with the holidays and everything. I get really manic um, and start like planning all these things. And then towards the end of December, I usually um, go depressive and start because I don't complete all the things that I wanted to or that I planned. And then I get upset. 
So. Yeah, I know. Kind of find that balance. <laughs> So it's mm -hmm. going to be an interesting, transformative year. Fuck yeah, it is. Damn. <laughs> I did not want to be called out like that, but here we are. All right. Well. That was pretty cool. Yeah. You fun. know, there is a... <coughs> There's one thing, too, where you can, like, find your tarot card of the year, not necessarily, like, every the month. Uh huh. But it's like if you take your birthday, like your month, your day, and your like full year. Is it full year? Or is it just last two day digits? I don't know. I'll have to look it up again. But it, basically, if you take that, and if you um, uh, like add it all together. Oh. It's like you take your birthday, you add the year to it. So like mine's like two, three, ninety three. So you add like two, three, ninety three, or whatever to like two thousand twenty three, and you like add each of those digits that come out, and then you'd get like a number, and then you look up that number, and that's like your tarot card thing. I don't fucking know. It, I'm like scrolling and I can't find it. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Well, if we find it, we could always post it on the Instagram. Yeah. I was just, yeah, I don't know. All I know is, is that Casey got the hermit. Oh, I found it. Okay. Oh, maybe I didn't. Okay, well. <laughs> never mind. I just told her, hey, never mind, I found it. <laughs> You're the hermit. <laughs> oh my God. I don't fucking know. I don't remember. It was like this weird thing. I think I had to do it four or five times because the way I was reading it was not making any sense. <laughs> oh I was like, gosh. what do I do? Do I add two and three and then nine and three together? Like what? I don't know. Oh, All right. wait. Nope. I don't know. All right. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. that is our year at a glance. So maybe try your own and let us know what your year is going to be like. Yeah, that'd be fun. All right. Until next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs> that was on point. <laughs>